Hello YouTube and DDR members, um, this is Mr. Eminem and welcome to my Gate Crash Fat Pack unboxing. Um, for those that didn't see my last one, it went rather well, so I thought I'd do another one and hopefully we'll get another two foil planeswalkers, though I'm not going to hold my breath. Um, I'll put a time code in the uh, description box so that you can skip straight to the booster openings, um, so you can skip all the opening all the other things bits. Uh, Alright, without further ado, let's get the trusty knife and get in here. So I've been looking forward to this set for a long, long time. Um, yeah, all of the guilds that I like to play are in Gate Crash, so I was pretty excited for this. So. Alrighty. Uh, firstly, we have the player's guide with all cards. Yada yada. Oh, what's this? That's really odd. It appears that they missed a page, and that this has has the extra cards that aren't on there because this. This list ends at Prime Speaker Zagana, and this one starts with Coronation Worm. So, yeah, it seems that they just, rather than having an extra page, had this. That's really odd. I've never seen that before. Right. Um, so this, on the inside, you see there's a rather nice artwork. Oh, that's very nice. Jump straight up on the wall. Then we've got the box with Gideon and Aurelia looking rather, I don't know, nice? How would you describe that? Epic? Very borossy. Uh, here, got two deck boxes inside, nice and fancy. And we get these. Oh, yay, I got a Gruel dice. Which is cool, because the Gruel is the only one I did not have from this set thus far, so... Yes, excellente. Ready, we've got... Uh, is that... Looks like 80 basic lands. And more Ravnica ones. There's beautiful lands in this set, so... More basic lands is always welcome. Lambs got four of the booster packs. See, this will be a little quicker than my last one, which went for 20 minutes. So not wasting as much time. And we've got the other five booster packs. Little how to play guide. Most players will have about half a million of these. And yeah, so. That's basically everything. We've got once more the fancy box. Beautiful. 80 basic lands. Nine boosters. Four to open. A player's guide with additional checklist. Someone. And the booster boxes. And that's that's about it. I'm gonna stop the video and then restart with the booster openings. Alright, on to the booster packs, of which we have nine. Pack number one. Let me a little quicker, if I can be, than I was last time. The Tearing Thunderfist, Hands of Binding, Greenside Watcher, Devour Flesh, Shattering Blow, Ivy Lane Denizen, Clinging Anemones, Horror of the Dim, Shielded Passage, Agoraphobia, Crackling Perimeter, Boris Elite, and another Ogre Slumlord. Oh, and then a Foil Call of the Nightwing. Yeah, I like that. Planes Advertising. Appropriate files. On to pack two. 
rocket through them this time. The Daring Skyjack. Grizzly Spectacle, which won me a game in the uh, pre-release. That was a lot of fun. Uh, Purge the Profane. Midnight Recovery. Last Thoughts. A Demir Guildgate. Naturalize. Some of the best Naturalize artwork I've seen. Spell Rupture. Good counter spell. Slate Street Ruffian. Rust Scarab. The True Fire Paladin. Incursion Specialist. And a 5 line foil. Oh, and a second foil. Hands of Binding. Lots of Demir foils. All up in this. There we go. Forest and more advertising. Pack 3. That's where things got silly last time, I think. Here's a pack 4. There's one or the other. We've got a, a Scab Clan Charger. Leyline Phantom. Paranoid Delusions. Drakewing Crisis. Syndicate Enforcer. Simic Guildgate. Basilica Guards. Ember Beast. Sky Games. Slate Street Ruffian. Rapid Hybridization or a Pongify. Dust Mantle Guild Mage and. No, oh, wait, no, I'm ahead of myself. Uh, I'm just too excited. A Viashino Shanktail and a Rubble Hulk. Not bad. And we have a very nice a Frog Lizard token. I love the Simic. Crazy people. Pack four. What should I say? Crazy Merfolk. Alright, we have Greenside Watcher, Devour Flesh, Tin Street Market, Executioner Swing, uh, Paranoid Delusions again, Ember Beast, Gruel Guildgate, Wildwood Rebirth, Foundry Street Denizen, Corpse Blockade, Sunhome Guild Mage, glad to have that. Righteous Charge, Cinder Elemental, and a Rebel Belt Raiders. I keep getting a lot of um, a lot of Gruel rares in the other packs I've opened, which well, it wouldn't bother me, but I don't play Gruel, so kind of useless to me. Pack five, uh, Metropolis Sprite. Have a smite, slaughter horn, structural collapse, primal visitation, is it? Yes, visitation. Martial glory, furious resistance. This thing's the first artifact, riot gear. Ivy lane denizen, clinging anemones, mofolk of the depths, fortress cyclops, cyclops, knight of obligation. Oh, hell's yeah. Aurelius Fury. Excellent. Uh, yeah, happy with that. And uh, we get a planes and some advertising. It's always nice to pull the most expensive cards in the set in um, two consecutive uh, boost of, uh, what do you call them? Pat packs. Pack six. Croconura. Hands of Binding, Massive Raid, Night Watch, Kingpin's Pet, Mortis Strider, Verdant Haven, Sage's Row Denizen, Act of Treason, it's a classic, Balustrade Spy, Vizcopa Confessor, who seems cool at first but is not as great as I thought, uh, Serene Remembrance, Another Cinder Elemental and Borborygmus Enraged. That's the third Borborygmus that I have pulled. The second today. As I said, I keep getting the, um, the Gruel Rares. Pack 
a little more reluctant to read them. Okay, we have a night watch. Again, contaminated ground, Beckon apparition, frequent crisis, Demir Gilgate, naturalize, spell rupture, Slate Street ruffian, Ember beast, Scar Guildmage, Dying Wish, hmm, I like it. Okay. Ground Assault, and a Biomass Mutation. Cool. Oh, and a Foil Shamble Shark. That crazy Flash. Actually, that's really good for a common. Flash Fish Crab with Evolve 2 1 for 2. That's, that's actually pretty good. I like that. I like it a lot. Second last pack. We're almost there. Metropolis Sprite. Angelic Edict. Devour Flesh. A non-foil shamble shark. Almost seems disappointing now. Primal Visitation. Syndicate Enforcer. Enforcer. Simic Guildgate. Basilica Guards. Ember Beast. Sky Games, Call of the Nightwing, Marilyn there, Cackling Perimeter, Knight of Obligation, and Sepulchral Primordial. Third one of those. Oh, awesome! The Domri Raid Emblem. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to get that. It's the first one I've actually seen. Hmm. Goes well with my, uh, with my Domri Raid. I got it. Let's see, really. Final pack. Still have time to pull a foil planeswalker. Come on. We've got structural collapse. Angelic edict. Shadow alley. Shadow alley denizen. Shadow alley denizen. Primal visitation. Again. Death cult rogue. Skybinder staff. Skinbrand goblin. Last thoughts. Gruel guildgate. The Court Street Denizen, Sunhome Guild Mage, Oz of Charm, Incursion Specialist, and a Mind Grind. I'm I'm okay with that. I like Mind Grind rather a lot. So I'm a big fan of milling, so that's a particularly good mill card. Alright, I'll be back in a second with all of these rares nice and neatly organized and I'll wrap up. Alrighty, time to wrap this up. Um, just going through all of the rares from today. We got the Ogre Slumlord, which is pretty decent with um, with whatever that evil rat is, Pack Rat from the last set. Um, we've got Five Alarm Fire, which is eh, all right, well, nothing special. Rubble Hulk, who's fairly fun. Rubble Belt Raiders, also fairly fun. Aurelius Fury, which is very, very fun. Biomass Mutation, potential for fun. Bob Rigmus Enraged, who's okay. He's, I mean, he's a 7 6 with Trample for 6, if nothing else. Um, yeah. We've got Sepulchral Primordial. It's pretty decent. The Domri Raid Emblem, which probably counts as an extra rare because you don't see them often. And finally, a Mind Grind, which makes me happy for my my millings. All right, so that's that's today's haul, which I can't complain. There's some fairly decent stuff there. Um, I do wish I'd get slightly less gruel rares because I don't have much of a use for them. Um, yeah. Other than that, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed this. If you've got any suggestions, just chuck them in the comments. Um, I'm still fairly new at this. This is only my second uh, fat pack unboxing, so I've got a lot to learn. Nice. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you later.